listen, I'm telling you, your kid could be demonized and attacked, but your doctor calls it autism. <laughs> Ain't no such diagnosis in the Bible. You know, I didn't even need an additional reason to hate this piece of shit more than I already do, but here we are. For those of you who don't know who this piece of shit is, allow me to introduce you to Greg Locke, the head of the Global Vision Bible Mega Church in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. For those of you who don't know what a mega church is, allow me to explain. A mega church is a church that's led by a violent, uneducated, hateful piece of shit like this guy. They televise their sermons, broadcast it to the entire country, so he can profit off of people who are just as, if not more, violent, uneducated, and hateful as he is. And this guy has a net worth of 129 million. You probably know Greg for being a well-known homophobe, anti-masker. He also said you can't be a Christian and vote Democrat. Yes, that guy. And now he's saying that autism is just being possessed by demons. I'm willing to bet this guy and anybody who goes to his church failed every single science class they took. They clearly know nothing about medicine, biology, anatomy, or any of that stuff. You want to know why the Bible says no such diagnosis for autism, Greg? Because doctors in modern medicine didn't exist in the Bible. You fucking moron. You and your hick followers would know that if you actually read the Bible all the way through. But I doubt that your IQ and your lack of critical thinking skills could allow you to do such a thing. I don't know what's more shocking. The fact that this dude's going around saying that having autism is being possessed by demons or that people clapped after he said it. There could be people who are watching this and cheering who have kids with autism. Which means instead of seeking a professional medical opinion, getting a proper diagnosis, and getting the resources to help their kids cope with their autism, they're going to treat them like some freaks that need to be exercised. And quite honestly, any parent that does that needs to be reported to CPS immediately. You know all those false prophets the Bible warns you about? You're looking at one right now. There's absolutely nothing Christian-like about hateful pieces of shit like this that spew the garbage like he does from his mouth and force it onto other people to try to believe it as fact.